أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم By the grace of Allah rahmah and mercy that I'm still in existence. We took a path of nothingness and a reminder the turuls come into our life to teach us whatever opens for you from Allah's ni'mat and blessing is never from your prayers, never from your salah, never from your zakah, never from your fasting. There is no awliya, there is no wali who achieved anything from his amal. That amal and all of your Islam was to perfect your character was to give good character. We do what we do because Allah ordered it. What made awliyaullah to be awliya? What made pious people to be pious? Wasn't their amal? Wasn't the amount of praying, the power of the qirat, how much their hifs? This is not what made anything for them. What made them and gave them a status in Allah's presence in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad was their character. They mimicked the character to the best of their ability of Prophet You want to be a leader within the community, you sit with everybody. Who are you to say this one is a, a munafiq because people come say, this one talk very bad about you. This one says like this, this one says like this, this one like this. And then Prophet Sallallahu reminder is, you are not here to make lahnat on anyone. You're not here to do anything and judge anyone from Allah's creation, judgment only for Allah You're here to be of service and spread the goodness, spread the light, spread the love, leave judgment for Allah that submit to complete taslim whatever Allah wants is going to happen. The, the munafiq and the believer makes no difference for you, has nothing to do with you. You mainly serve Allah and His Rasul. But when Allah in Holy Qur'an is talking to Prophet about hypocrites within his community that this hypocrisy that they're doing is angering Allah because they're coming against the Rasul They're disobeying and creating a difficulty within his community. So Allah come into our life and say that when you read this ayatul Qur'an al kareem it's for us an understanding of how much Allah loves Sayyidina Muhammad That they do to me wrong, no problem, I'll deal with them but I can't bear to see them doing this to you. Because of my love for you, they sit amongst you and they make a fitna and difficulty and every bad character tell them, I will not forgive them. I won't accept the prayer for them and Prophet's holy hadith the Ya Rabbi and telling companions, let me find 70 excuses from my brother. Don't let your brother to enter into Allah's difficult. And then Allah is teaching us full of power of a magnificent. As alaikum, we hope that you're enjoying the video inshallah. Just a request that you help us continue to make such amazing Islamic content inshallah. Share this video with your friends and loved ones, subscribe to the channels and donate. Every bit helps. Jazakallah khair and we will return to the program. Why 70 times Allah just saying, if you pray I won't accept. And why Prophet saying, find 70 excuses for your brother. Why? Because 70 has to do with the secret of the soul. Ya, 10, seen, 60. Every uloom within this Ya seen, every secret of the soul within the secret of Ya seen, and the name and the heart of Holy Quran, the name of Sayyidina Muhammad Ya seen. We won't go into the secret of 70. 
in our wazifa, we make 70 istighfar. For everything and every guna that we're doing, that we're asking Allah for forgiveness and then Allah reminding, well ask the forgiveness of Sayyidina Muhammad Your soul is not from me, your soul is from the light of Sayyidina Muhammad Your guna and what you're doing wrong and your zulamat and oppression that you put upon your soul is affecting Sayyidina Muhammad not Allah that's shariq and nothing you can do that affects Allah is way outside of the ocean. This is the ocean of creation. The relationship between Allah and His love for Sayyidina Muhammad Me and you were not important in this formula. It's not about us, it's about Allah love for Sayyidina Muhammad Anybody watching on the internet, when we say Sayyidina Muhammad it means the love of all the Prophets, all the purified souls, Allah's infinite love for His Prophets. And that's why He sent them as a warning, as a guidance for mankind, for hidayah. Ask Allah for every order He gave and we did wrong but more is that whatever we're doing wrong it's coming against the light of Sayyidina Muhammad The Prophet has to take that, Prophet has to purify that, Prophet has to make that to be purified and presented to Allah's Divine the Presence. So then when Allah is saying that, that one who coming against you I will not forgive them and Prophet's response for us that make 70 excuses, continuously never give up your path of rahmah, never give up your, your path of mercy and love and then Allah will describe you khuluqul adheem. So happy with Prophet's testing that I, I'm going to give an ability to punish, are you going to take it? Are you going to say, yeah, curse my nation, crush my nation, throw my nation into the trash? Every Prophet, I gave them an authority, when they were angered by their nation, they cursed their nation. When Sayyidina Nuh salam, his people weren't listening, what he said to them, Ya Rabbi, get rid of these people, flood them, kill them all, it's finished. Not the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad Find a continuous rahmah in which not to throw anyone into the hands of shaitan, that keep a path and a character of goodness. Very difficult, very difficult to deal with people whom you know they're doing something against you, saying against you, working against you because it builds character. Because the, the ultimate love and the ultimate reality is Allah going to ask you, are you doing what you do for people? You are nice because people were going to be nice to you back. You, you served so people would be of service back to you or you did what you did for the love of Allah and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad That's the love you want then keep your focus on that character and they work with everyone. They work with everyone and anything they find wrong, they don't make a comment on Facebook attacking people, they don't make a comment and posting attacking. They're trying to take from the character of Sayyidina Muhammad your job not to throw anybody to shaitan, your job to bring everybody to Rahmah. Keep quiet on what you don't like of character, pray for, for their forgiveness, keep their company. Maybe by seeing you and your character, their character will change. And then this is the reminder of character building. Insan al Kamil by author and spiritual guide Shaykh Nurjan Murakhmadi describes that in order to be known, 
The Divine created a sublime treasure for all of creation. The glorious light and soul of the Insan al Kamil, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Vast universes, including every particle in existence, came into manifestation through this all encompassing ocean of perfection. Order on Amazon.com. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular need? We bring to you the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide, where you can find special du'as and prayers, as well as comprehensive Islamic teachings. Download this powerful app now on iOS and Android. These are the schools of Ada, and they remind us that if you want Allah's satisfaction and you want the satisfaction of Prophet keep the best of you. Someone harmed you, it doesn't matter. Someone didn't harm you, it doesn't matter. What you're doing in life, what we are doing in life, if we're doing for dawah, for goodness, for good character, we do for Allah and His beloved Sayyidina Muhammad Sit with everyone, meet with everyone, be with everyone, be the best of character. Otherwise we find ourselves to be from the people who sit with no one, deal with no one, eat with no one, agree with no one and that's not from the character of Sayyidina Muhammad Prophet is coming and teaching that I'm rahmatan lil alameen. Allah wouldn't have sent me but that I'm a mercy for all creation. And say, that's why now everything is corrupt in its understanding of Islam. Everything is corrupt in its understandings of Holy Qur'an. Because if they don't have a school of adab, they read only part and they make their, their decision from their bad character. The bad character always wants to inflict harm on people to make their own egos to be satisfied. Good character inflicts harm only upon itself so that it will be brought down and other people can have their pleasure and satisfaction. Bad character want to take the satisfaction and pleasure from people down and to make itself to be. Pray that Allah dress us and bless us from these lights and these realities and to understand that our, our role in life is to work with people, to love people, to bring a guidance to people, to bring a good character. If the people of good character don't move around and about for people to see, to, to, to witness and to understand how can anything ever change? Everything now is in a jahaliyyah, in an extreme jahaliyyah. We said before that there's no weak hadith, there's only weak belief. When they say the chain of this hadith is da'if, and then they start to attack it because the whole philosophy is off. Means that in Hadith and Nabi towards virtuous acts, good and pious acts, there's no need for you to check the chain. Why you have to check the chain of transmission for a virtuous and pious act? Did he fast on the 10th of Shaban? Then they post 10 articles that the chain for fasting on the 10th is weak. So then who encourages people not to fast? Shaitan. Rahman encourages you towards piety. Shaitan encourages you not to do acts of worship. So it means the whole of Islam is off now. And, and acts of and piety and virtue and goodness, there was no need to check any chain. Whomever transmitted a good act and a pious act, you were supposed to be doing it and you were supposed to be increasing. So then who warns people not to fast on a certain day? Shaitan, the Hizb shaitan whomever is overwhelmed by shayateen, they said, don't fast that day, it's okay. Don't pray those hundred rakahs, Ibn uh, Imam Abu Hanifa said what? Thousand rakahs between the Hajjud and Fajr. 
every night until severe arthritis had d damaged all the joints. So anybody who prayed 10 extra rakahs on a certain night and they said, this is a, this is an innovation, means the whole of their understanding is all incorrect. And when did the shaykhs and the ulama and, and all of the judges of Islam look to the chain for punishment? The time to look at the chain of transmission when punishment was going to be given to someone. Why? To, to look for the rahmah and the mercy that something from Prophet must be in this chain to save this person from difficulty. So they immediately would go to the chain, to the hadith to find where Prophet is giving a rahmah so that not to give difficult judgment upon people. Now you don't see that at all. You see the punishment and azab, they're quick to want to cut the hands and the feet and quick to tell you not to pray and not to fast. Now you know this is his shaitan is everywhere. With the rahmah of Prophet to see who had food in their home. So that under his rule and under his watch there's nobody without food in their home that they would have to go to the market to steal because of that. Who does that? No. That was the hadith. They look to the chain of the, uh, of the character and now quick to put judgment and difficulty upon people and quick to tell people not to do virtuous and pious acts of piety. Because Allah why shaitan wounds that? Because Allah says that when my servant completes his fard and approaches me with voluntary worship, that's what shaitan is blocking that door. So why? What's the, what's the, the, the motive? Because shaitan is a criminal. What's the motive of this criminal that he's doing that? Because he knows that door is this hadith, that door that Allah hadith al-Qudsi, that when my servant completes his mandatory obligation and now comes to me with voluntary worship. If Allah grants sincerity to his voluntary worship, I become the eyes in which he sees, the ears in which he hears, the breath in which he breathes. Shaitan doesn't want someone like that to be dressed by Allah's attributes and by Allah's light so he blocks everything from voluntary worship and encourages people towards the punishment of others which brings the azab of Allah We pray that Allah continue to guide us with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad with the best of character, to keep in the schools of akhlaq and character and that to be dressed by Allah Subhanahu wa rahmat. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yatifoon. As salaamun al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa. Ma bisir surat al-Fatih.
could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK, as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input, and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, to clothing LA's homeless community, and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate.